Welcome or welcome back to Rack, where we talk all things audio production and sound. I'm Diana Everett. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and RAC grad. A few weeks ago, I had the incredible opportunity to go into the legendary Abbey Road Studios and do a day-long workshop with the one and only Jason Joshua, the legend and my favorite engineer these days. I wanted to share with you my experience and some of my takeaways. But let's start with a little review of Abbey Rhodes and Jason Joshua. Abbey Rhodes. Opening in 1931 as one of the original three studios at Abbey Road, it was made famous by the Beatles and Pink Floyd, but continues to operate at the heart of popular music today, recording the likes of Adele, Radiohead, Muse, Lady Gaga, Oasis, Kanye West, Ed Sheeran, and many, many, many many more. <laughs> Let's go over Jason Joshua. Jason Joshua started his mixing career in 2005 when he became partners with his mentor and the legend Dave Pensato. If you don't know Dave Pensato, look him up and you can also look up Jason Joshua, both incredible engineers. Jason has won over 15 Grammy Awards and makes many Grammy award-winning records such as Single Ladies, I'm a single ladies, I'm a single ladies, Despacito, <laughs> anyway, Mariah Carey, Justin Timberlake, P. Diddy, Chris Brown, Miley Cyrus, Pop Smoke, Rihanna, BTS, Michael Jackson, Snoop Dogg, Nas, Whitney Houston, and my recent favorite that he's done is Rosalia. He's also designed and curated the award-winning software, The God Particle, which all of the top engineers I follow are using these days. I have it. I love it. It is brilliant. My initial thoughts. Abbey Rhodes is mythical. Walking the street and seeing people at the famous crosswalk of the Beatles, then walking through the building, seeing the walls filled with legends who had been in those walls and then made some of the best music in those walls. It was such a humbling experience to get to see inside and get a little glimpse into some of the studios. We even had one of the boards that was used on the Beatles' Abbey Roads and Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. Oh, I was super nerding out. <laughs> Okay, so Jason Joshua, not only is he a total beast of an engineer, but he cares so much about the craft and the art of engineering. He's doing everything he can to elevate the caliber of young engineers' work. He gives so much information, it's crazy. I highly suggest watching his videos and tutorials he's done. Now for a few of my takeaways. He explains his process of mixing in terms of voltage. and. That just makes so much sense to me. When we think of energy, he breaks down how fast transients and low frequencies will push your machines hot and ultimately create artifacts or worse, flatten the dynamic range, which makes the mix feel less alive. He gives loads of tips, plug-in suggestions to reduce the overall voltage while keeping or even boosting the perceived volume which is really cool, and helping all of that sit better in the mix. He created a system called The System to create a foolproof mix where you will hit your levels every single time. The session template is in Pro Tools and goes over many legendary plugins. I will link a YouTube video that I found, which gives a little preview and goes over the session template. He went into his low end theory using effective Soothe 2 to help sidechain the bass to the kick or the 808 or perks. Sooth 2 is such a beast of a plugin, super precise and clean and does a great job not only at removing unwanted harshness from your voice or sounds, but also doubles as a highly effective ducking tool. He went into how he uses forward and backward panning, which for me, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> forward and backward panning? How do you do that? And he does this with the Waves True Verb plugin, where he creates a forward and backward reflection points to create depth and movement and what literally feels like forward and backward panning. Honestly, this blew my mind. I was talking with my friend George about it for like half an hour when we were having lunch. I was like, what the heck? That's so crazy. I'm going to be using it on everything. <laughs> His process is always start with the low end, get everything sitting right, and then make space for the voice. Being a vocal stacks, like a heavy vocal stacks producer, I asked him what would be his approach to mixes 
had he had loads of vocal stacks because I was very curious. So I had mentioned as examples Tweet, Missy Elliott, Napalm, Pointer Sisters, and just gospel as general references as I usually use those as references when I arrange vocals. He said if you have loads and loads of stacks you should approach all the voicing first. Take the time to really nail the placement and spacing and then when you mix in the low end make sure you support the voice and that the mids don't take away but enhance the vocals. Another fun tip is he said place the background vocals in the frequency bands that are missing from the main vocals which I just thought was very handy seeing as I often have so many background vocals. <laughs> Another thing he said is that the release will control the perceived weight of a sound. So for instance, the longer the length of the kick, the greater the perceived loudness. And he gave us an example of this and it was very evident. It made such a huge difference and you can do that without boosting the volume. So we also got the incredible privilege of having a surprise video call with the legend Dave Pensato. Not only is this guy a total legend and so incredible with his knowledge, he is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Both Jason and Dave had the whole crowd in stitches. They have a whole thing going on and the banter between the both of them, oh my god, it was unbelievable. <laughs> Honestly, there's so much I could say about the day and all the extra little tidbits of knowledge I got. I think after going through the seminar, I will totally try and go to other workshops. They are so inspiring and just like going to Rack where you get to meet so many amazing, fun people that are also interested in what interests you. There were so many incredible people there. The incredible day was organized by Mix with the Masters and Audio Movers. And I gotta say, I walked outside of there more excited than I felt in years about mixing, except for when I graduated from RAC. But <laughs> pretty much the most excited I've felt in a few years. That's it for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We are coming out with new videos every week and we have actually a lot of fun videos coming up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.